So this one in the book really kind of, th there's so many factors that I, I kind of was like, wow, this, this speaks to so many things about the American West. And I, I kind of wanted to talk about it a little bit um, because you have uh, David Broderick who wants to be like that first Senator of California in, in the US Senate. And in part, I'm kind of like, why? Why, why do you want to be the first one? I've, I've seen it in like, I, I did like lectures on Boot Montana for students. And you have that same story up there of like this political infighting of, I want to be the first one. Is it, is it why? why? Why do you want to be the first one? You want to be in the history books that desperately? I, I guess so. To a certain extent, maybe it's just bragging rights. I mean, these guys who, who went to California, these, these politicos, um, were pretty savvy. They knew that um, digging around in the dirt to find gold wasn't actually a great way to make a living. And instead, going west to participate in politics might have been a, a more secure form of employment. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, William Gwynn, who's a central character in the book, he's this planter from Mississippi, owns about 200 slaves, um, but goes to California because basically he wants to be a senator and, you know, mm -hmm. he, he didn't have the chops to unseat, say, Jefferson Davis in Mississippi, um, yeah. but there were going to be two open Senate seats in California, so he went for it, and, and he got what he came for. <laughs> 